Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well out there and had a great weekend. Uh, today's video is going to be a continuation of last Friday's video. Uh, in Friday's video, we took a look at how to install Duplicati and run a backup both locally and remotely uh, of your Docker server. And in today's video, I want to show how to restore applications um, from, from that backup. So uh, what we're going to do today is actually I'm going to, uh, we're going to take a look at Plex. I've got Plex up and running on my server. I'm going to deliberately crash it, delete the data, and then we're going to restore it. So uh, with that being said, let's uh, quit with all the intro stuff and jump over to my desktop. So here we are on my desktop and, and you can see that uh, I've got 10X over here. I've got, it uh, 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 looks like two seasons of American Gods and A Beautiful Mind, the movie. Uh, both of these uh, uh, should work just fine. Let's see, let's, let's take a look here. There we go. Looks like it's gonna start playing now. Uh, maybe it's thinking about it. There it is. So we can see that it works uh, and that's enough of that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and close that out. So what we want to do here is let's say for some reason you lost uh, your data, your data was corrupted, your computer broke, hard drive crashed, whatever. Um, and so Plex doesn't work anymore. So what we're going to do is actually just uh, we're going to stop it. So we'll give that a second to do its thing and then uh, what we'll do is we'll actually come in here to stacks because I don't remember exactly where I put everything. So I'm just going to open this up. And what I want to do uh, here, I've, I'm logged into my Tanix server. So I'm going to uh, CD, change directory into SRV, uh, oops, dev disk by label files. Uh, and I'm going to go into configs like that. And I'm going to do an LS. And here we can see that I've got AdGuard, uh, DocuWiki, Duplicati, and Plex. So what I want to do here is RM uh, dash uh, RF um, and then Plex. And if I redo that now, uh, we can see that Plex is gone. Uh, in fact, uh, of course, I stopped the application, but here we can see it says Tanix is currently unavailable. So here's where things get a little weird and, and, and whatnot when we're... Or that's the kitten playing back there. Uh, so here's where things get a little weird when it comes to uh, Docker containers and restoring their data. You're not actually going to restore the Docker container itself. You're going to restore the data of that Docker container. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna close this out. Um, <clears throat> so right here you can see, uh, this is just, just like we did before with setting up Plex. Uh, what we're going to have to do, though, is go get a new Plex claim code. So I'm going to come over here to plex.tv slash claim, and I'm going to get this right here. And then I'll come over and just paste that in there. There we can see it's updated. And I'll click on update the stack, which is just going to redeploy the stack. And let's go ahead and close that. And let's say uh, Tanix. Uh, and let's do this. We can actually take a look at the, uh, the logs here. Here you can see it's, it's writing the database. Uh, for the creation and doing all kinds of stuff there in the background. Like, let's close that. Let's just give this a minute to finish up what it's doing here. I'm trying to get ahead of myself, and uh, and this isn't this isn't the right way to do this. So uh, now it says it's starting the Plex Media server. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. So it's still thinking. It looks like. So here you can see now that it's trying to connect um, to a server that doesn't exist uh, because we've got a different claim code on it. Um, none of the configuration files that were there uh, previously are, are there anymore because we deleted them. So what we wanna do is actually, I'm gonna close this. I'm actually gonna go back to my container. I'm going to stop Plex. So we'll give this a second to stop. So now Plex is stopped. It's not going to work anymore. In fact, if I come back, uh, let's uh, let's get rid of a bunch of this stuff here, and and it just nothing is going to work because we stopped the container. So what we'll do now is we'll go back here to Duplicati. We're going to go to Server Backups, and under Operations, we've got the option to run a backup now, which would be really bad, uh, or we can restore files. So we're going to do that. Now it's going to think about it for a while, and here are the most recent. Uh, backups that it ran, which of course was like one o'clock this morning. So what I'll do is I'll click on Plex. I'm going to click continue. Now, of course, you could do this with multiple applications simultaneously. Um, so we're going to go ahead and leave all of this the same, the original location. We're going to overwrite anything that's there and we're going to restore read and write permissions. That's super important. Always restore read and write permissions. 
uh, and then go ahead and click restore. So now it's gonna go through this process of, of thinking about what it's gonna do. Then it's gonna restore those files. So now it's verifying and that looks like it's good to go now. So what we can do then is come over here to Plex. Uh, let's just refresh the page. We probably don't need to, but we're gonna anyway. We'll go ahead and click on Plex. We're gonna click start. So now that's running. But of course we wanna come down here uh, and give this a second to think about it. Looks like it's good to go. Uh, so now if I come back over here and uh, click go, and to come over to here. So now we've got this old Tanix server that's spinning and it's not doing anything, but uh, if we come over here, hey, look, our data's back. So now let's let's try to play this again. Uh, if everything works right, we should get that, that, that sunrise or whatever it was uh, from the intro to a beautiful mind. And there it is. So, okay guys, so there you go. That's honestly how easy it is to restore your data. Now, if you've had a remote backup, like you lost your local backup, of course you could restore your, your, your remote backup to your local server and then deploy uh, the, the application just like I did here. But I wanted to show how easy it is to restore your backed up data uh, because there's, there's not much information out there about how to do this. And, and it seems kind of counterintuitive to install the application, um, but then there's nothing there or you can't restore the data without the application. You have to re you have to install the application new and then restore your data on top of it. That's kind of the key to making this work. So hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions about any of that, of course, leave those in the comment section down below. Um, so hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out more than you might actually realize. So I wanna give a big shout out to my patrons. You guys help me out every month and I really do appreciate you. Uh, if you guys wanna become a patron, if you're not already, there will be a link in the description where you can jump over to Patreon and become a patron. There are a few different levels at which you can subscribe. If you find one that fits you, great. If not, uh, let me know. I may be able to add a new patronage level. So uh, leave all that in, the, in the, the comment section down below if you wanna do that. But I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.